Hi, homeschool moms. This is Lillian at Future Faith Freedom Homeschool, and this is part three of Mahogany Homemakers um, Vlog Hop. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I, I just have everything set out here real quick um, for you guys, just laid out. So, and um, I'm gonna start at our art. We are. I, I borrowed a lot of books from the library. And I have a lot of notes of from when I went to school for art. I went to school for art, so I think I can at least teach him the basics. <laughs> but I have like drawing from memory. This is from the library. It's fun to draw dinosaurs. One, two, three, I can draw. Um, how to draw knights and castles. And it's just some stu fun stuff um, for them to do. And I found an old makeup case, and I put all my son's art supplies in there so that way you can look it around and the baby is not getting into his stuff um, for some extra cricks um, I found I, I've had this since uh, my oldest was a baby and I've just been collecting ideas of like little things to do crafts and stuff like that because I mean I will yes I'm an artist but I never saw myself as crafty it's like you know, make a suitcase out of old maps and then, you know, make a game out of it or use it to store your games. Um, mapping games or whatever. Um, and I thought that would be actually cool for like a lap book. But it's an, an actual suitcase. A small one at least. Fishing. Um, you know, eight fun things to do with cereal boxes. Um, these are from... Chick-fil-A from a long time ago. I'm glad I kept these. So just a lot of good things. And these will go great with my story of the world stuff. So, And then we have been so taken advantage of the Lowe's Build and Grow workshops. And they are just loving that. We've, we've been doing it this whole summer. We're going to miss this coming weekend, but it's okay because we're going to be up there next weekend, uh, the following weekend. <laughs> if you haven't tried that out, you guys, it's a free program. Just sign up and go for it. And um, this is math, Saxon math. And I got um, these three. Well, I bought this test one for online. I had to order that one because I didn't have the test in the worksheets. But I got these two for a dollar from my local bookstore. She was, she has a homeschool lending library, but she lets you buy them for a dollar, so that was great. And I had to order my son's second math too for my middle son. Um, and they're, you know, I think it's great because my oldest, he can read through it himself and then, and then, you know, read the new concepts and then do it on his own. Um, and they're flying through it because it's stuff that they know already, so it's a great kind of, uh, you know, catch up or, or, or uh, review from last year. Um, geography, we are going to touch very lightly on our states this year. I'm not really going to go into depth, but I did order this um, Great States Family Game. Test your knowledge of state landmarks, locations, and capitals. And I thought I read really great reviews on this, so, and it wasn't that bad. It got a, the best toy award, so it has to be good. And one of my um, thrift store hauls, at, uh, this Atlas, we're just going to take a look at the maps and, and stuff like that and just kind of point. And my favorite thing that I found at the Dollar Tree, this was might have been at last spring, um, great huge map of the United States, and I think that would be great because we can color it when we when we go through the states whenever we start that. So I'm doing a history, uh, the story of the world history for the classical child and this has some great um, activities in here as well. So I'm not too concerned with that. I think we're good. And and going along with this I get lots of finds from the library like the mummies and the pyramids of ancient Egypt and all that living history. So, so I get all that stuff, so it's good. I, I have plenty of things in there. And I actually think that is better just to check them out in your regular um, 
library card instead of the teacher's library card because that's only for four weeks but you know you can check them out up to two times and that's six weeks or more if, with your regular library card so I got the spelling of power when we come back from our family vacation our long-awaited family vacation I am really gonna I'm gonna read through this and look at the DVDs and so that way I know what I need to do um, okay, so this is what I was talking about, the super um, reading success, third grade Sylvan. And I'm just having my son finish up these because I think he can use the strengthening. So it's um, three books in one, spelling, vocabulary, reading, comprehension. And um, yeah, I, I really like that one. It's a one a day sheet, but I make them do front and back. And then, a, you know, so I have them all laid out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And this one here, Scholastic Success with first grade. And it's the same thing. We don't do the math part in here since we're doing Saxon already. But I have him take like two pages a day and he does it. You know, so making predictions and stuff like that. And I think it's a good thing to have. So I, I want to do, I have to get, I'm going to get the books from the library, but I found these at the, our local bookstore, so I'm excited to do this. I think this is what my oldest one and I were going to do for our novel studies. I think he's good with that. And my little, my middle child, he, you know, want him to start reading again. So we have a bunch of these Henry and Mudge books, and I'm going to just have him, like, do little, um, little bits of, you know, book reports or something like that, um, reviews on them. And I did pull out some stuff to read over. Um, I have the Apostle book, um, not Apostle, um, uh, Aesop's Tales and stuff on this other stack, but, you know, I want us to read Under the Cherry Blossom and stuff like that. And, um, okay, so for science I have um, these books that I just found, like 10 cents, Right here this is going to be great for maybe next year and this one is an ongoing oh I love this I found this at um, Costco one year when my kids were little before they went to before my oldest went to kindergarten and um, it was only for like $9.99 so I grabbed it and you know what you guys I do have a um, magic school bus the magic school bus science kit that we're doing um, we just finished the Sun and Star Science Kit, and that, that's a great thing, because everything is laid out for you every every week if you do, a, you know, something a whole month, you know, and if you do science once a week, that's great. And that ended up working perfectly for us. I mean, everything's laid out there. They send you all the materials um, and these science projects, and it's, you know, I got it off of EduSense for 50% off, so I jumped on that right away. Because, you know, I'm new at this, and I didn't know how I was going to do it. <laughs> okay, so a handwriting. I still can't find my handwriting stuff, but it was a good thing because I had already um, copied some things. And um, I'm going to have to stop here so I can make another movie. So stay tuned for part two.